Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to take 100 Algorand from Coinbase and start providing liquidity in the stable coin pools on TinyMan with that. If this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button because we'll be covering everything to do with Algorand DeFi ecosystem. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is have 100 Algorand on Coinbase. Uh, you can see I have that, and I had 101 here. Obviously, it's a little bit cheaper to buy it on Coinbase Pro and then, you know, send it from there. I actually just had this sitting around and sent it to Coinbase so I can show you guys how to do that. All right. So we're on Coinbase, and we need to send it to our wallet that we're going to be using to interact with Tiny Man. We're going to be using my Elgo wallet, and I'm going to be using this account. So I need to, you know, make sure I'm clicked on the account I'm going to be using. I'm going to click this address. I'm going to go back to Coinbase. I'm going to send all of this Elgorand to that address that I just copied. Pay with Elgorand. We're going to hit continue. We are going to send now. Do my little security deal. All right, 100.098 Elgo is coming to my wallet here. We'll see it pop up here in just a moment. All right, that has shown up now. So now I've taken 100 Elgorand off of Coinbase and it's in my wallet now my Elgorand wallet. So, we have that now. Now we're going to go to Tiny Man. We're going to connect that wallet that we just put that money into. So we're going to connect to a wallet with my Elgo wallet. I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to choose this wallet. You probably will only have one on your list. I've just been screwing around. Or screwing around. I've been uh, using other accounts on this, so that's why I have three. You'll probably just have one. I'm going to click the new one. I'm signing in. I just had to opt in, which is what the process that's going through right now. You only obviously only have to do this kind of stuff once. Okay. So now I am in Tiny Man. You can see I've got this wallet. There are those 101 Elgorand that I sent over. And you can see I don't really have anything else. All right. So we're going to take this Elgorand that I brought over and we're going to convert it into either USDC or USD Tether. I want to show you guys something here. First I'm going to look at uh, the coin. So if I take, on, I'm going to just do 100. Now don't, don't hit max. If you hit max here, you won't have any Elgorand left over to do uh, transactions and whatnot. So make sure you leave yourself, you know, at least .005 or something to do the transactions. Again, don't hit max or you will um, not have any Elgorand left over to do the little transactions. Leave yourself a little bit of leeway. All right, so 100 Elgorand would get me 189 USD coin or 191 tether. Well, I would rather get more, so I'm gonna do the tether thing. Again, you can check here. 100 Elgorand will get me 189 USD coin or 191 Tether. I want the 191 Tether, so we're going to do this swap. 100 Elgorand to 191 Tether. Confirm swap. Continue. Now, I have I had already added in, you know, the USDT ASA. If you've never added in the ASA onto your wallet, it's going to ask you to do that first. All right, I did the swap. I got a little bit of um, extra here. So I'm gonna hit redeem. All right, so now I've I've converted that 100 Elgorand into 191 USD Tether, and you can see here now I've got 191 USD Tether. So we're close, but not quite here. All right, we're gonna go back to swap. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that Tether I just got and we're going to take half of it and convert half of that into the USD coin. So a half of 190 
is obviously 95. So if we go 95 tether, we're going to get back 98 uh, USDC. So let's go 96. So we want to get exactly these two dollar amounts equal. All right, there we go. That's pretty close. Let's go 95.5. All right, that'll be close enough. So we're going to swap. We're going to take 95.5 of the tether and swap those into 98.8 .8 of the USDC. Again, this is Algorand, so it costs you know 0 0.001 Algo to transaction. Takes no time. Again, a little bit to redeem here. All right, and now we've converted 95 of the USD tether into 98 of the USD coin. And as you can see, if we click here, we now have 95 tether. And 98 USDC, $98 worth of USDC, $99 worth of Tether. All right, now we're going to click on Pool, and we are going to add liquidity. And the one that we're going to add liquidity to is the Tether and the USDC. So, and you can see here to add liquidity, you need to first opt in your account. I've never, you know, done this on this one. And I didn't leave myself enough Elgorand to opt in. So I didn't follow my own advice. It's a good thing that I have other wallets that I can send a little bit over from. I'm going to send point two. That is definitely the most irritating thing I've uh, ran into with <laughs> Tiny Man so far is overspending. Um, so much that you can't do this little stuff. Come on, Betsy. There you go. See it popped in there, so now I'm able to opt in. Yeah, you should probably leave yourself like, you know, a good five Algorand. All right, so now I'm opted into the pool. So, here we go. We're gonna do max, so we're gonna end up putting in $98, 95 Tether, which is worth $98, and 98 USDC, which is worth $98, all right? See, these, are, these numbers are different, the number of tokens are different, but the dollar value is the exact same. What is that, what's happening now is just on the, on the site right now, you know, uh, USDC is worth slightly more than Tether. All right. The limiting factor is USDC. See, if we try and add our max amount of Tether, we actually don't have enough USDC. So we're going to click the max amount of USDC, and we're going to add li liquidity. Confirm supply. Well, again, we'll have a little bit probably to redeem here. Yep, a little bit to redeem. And well, we already are. We are now in the USDT USDC pool. And as you can see, we have 96. If we can look down here, we can see our, our tether is mostly gone. Our USDC is completely gone. And we now have some tiny man USDC dash USDT tokens. $196 worth. 
and you also can see that now if you click on pool you can see here my liquidity I am I have 0.01 percent of the USDC USDT liquidity pool on tiny man I can go into manage here you know if I want I could add more I could pull pull everything out yeah so that's just a real quick demonstration of you know how you take Algorand from a centralized exchange like Coinbase and start providing liquidity for a stablecoin pool. Um, you know this is this is a very safe pool to be in. You're not going to really experience any fluctuations in your number of uh, Algorand or other tokens. It's just you know you'll soak up a little bit of the fees. Obviously, at, with 0.01 percent of the pool, it's not going to be a whole bunch of money, but Hey, you're participating, you got some skin in the game, and it's as easy as that. All right, uh, I hope that was helpful to you guys. If it was, can maybe consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and leaving a comment down below. Have a great day.